In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a parabolic vault. There is given a line load and three points where the parabola has to go through. First, uh, you have to take your line load and convert it into the single point loads. Well, you know what is the distance between the two point loads, so you know how much line load there is for one point load. So now I will just take the line load 2.4 kilonewtons per meter and we'll just multiply it by 3 meters which is gonna give me 7.2 kilonewton point load. The next step is to label the spaces. So I will just begin here with A, B, See, inside of the parabolic vault, I'm just going to mark it O. Now let's transfer to the force diagram. I will just take one vertical line and transfer it over here. Transfer all your point loads to the line load. The size of one point load is 7.2 kilonewtons and my scale is 1 centimeter per 5 kilonewtons which makes it 1.4 centimeters pro point load. So I'm just gonna draw a line every 1.4 centimeters. Now I'm going to mark all the points starting with A and ending with K. Let's come back to the form diagram and draw the closing line. Connect the point Y with your closing line. Take a compass and transfer the distance between point Y and your closing line to the space above it. By that, you get another point. Connect this point with points X and Z. These two lines are called tangent lines. Now transfer your both tangent lines to the force diagram. Notice that drawing the load line not too far from your form diagram will save you some problem by transferring the lines. Now connect the point O with all of your point loads. The last step is to transfer all the lines you just drew into the form diagram. Notice that the first line is a tangent line. Please notice that this method works only for parabolic faults that have all the point loads the same and all the distances between the point loads the same. If one of those requirements is not fulfilled, like for example by a catenary line, you have to use the concept of a trial force polygon. About that I'm going to talk in the next video. Thank you for watching.